Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long. And it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started. And we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. The stands here, the Kurva, as the locals call them, make for quite an impressive sight, all in support of the grand old lady of the Italian game. Two high-profile, high-caliber teams. This is a welcome event for all these supporters. Yes, Peter, it's a shame it's only a, a friendly, but then again, that may help us see a more expressive attacking contest. And... I'd be prepared to settle for a, a clash of, of lesser intensity in favour of, of lots of flair, skill and plenty of tricks and a few goals. I suspect I've probably overstretched my, my level of greed here. So off we go then. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Callejon, he's the one who could shine. Um sharp and skillful and happy to ease inside and allowing the fullback to fill the space he vacates if an opportunity arises too he's also a very mean free kick taker yeah, he'll be looking for a goal or two yeah, nice touch gets away from his opponents shapes to shoot Bentancur tries to get it forward quickly Dybala, Cristiano Ronaldo, just brushed off the ball there, there's a lot of movement up front, yeah I have noticed that those uh, front players are working very hard, dropping deeper, yeah and I just think it keeps the opposition off guard with, with so much, Dybala, big relief, it just needed better contact, Paolo Dybala looked very impressive there, well at least until he got into a shooting position, something I'm sure he'll want to have a go at again. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo, and he it's Cristiano Ronaldo! Goal, Juventus! Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Juventus draw first blood here. Well, that's the currency he deals in and he's come good yet again. Never the one to let you down in these situations. And it's Mario Rui. Shakes the shoots. And here's Mertens. Bentancur gets it back. Bentancur demonstrating fabulous determination. He just will not be beaten. Now it's Kayahon. And it's played forward. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. And here's Kaya Hon. Gets the better of his man. Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo crosses. That's a case of crossing in hope, and unless they provide some more options, it'll be more missed than hit. That's the whistle for half-time. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal, which is very, very tight. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Juventus, that's surely a foul free kick.
Dybala is being told in no uncertain terms that this will be his final warning. Well, I think the referee would have told him to rein it in or, or suffer the consequences. Cristiano Ronaldo. He's off on a marauding run. He's one on one, goes for goal! No mistake! A two goal cushion, and it's looking safe. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive, and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. So that's two now without reply. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. Gets wrestled off the ball. Oh, he's caught him now. It's a free kick. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. Mertens. This is promising. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. He's on his way. Big chance going for goal! Yes! And surely that settles it. The lightness of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish. I think he just thought about trying his look from further out there, but why bother when you can worm your way through a defence like that? It's, it's terrific play to, to get through and score. He's made it three, quite a day at the office for him. This is one of the best performances I've seen in a while. He's practically taken on this team single-handedly, and they don't know how to stop him. Three without reply. This is become Kaya Horn! And in again. Bentancur. Bentancur goes looking. Now it's Higuain. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. He's one on one, surely! He's good for it! I can't speak highly enough of the keeper after that save. Can't stop thinking about it. A good run down the right. Where could this lead? Going through. Kayahon has a pop. Oh, outstanding save. Another example of how comfortable this team is on the break. Insigne with the short one. It's anyone's ball. Higuain going full tilt down the left. He's got away. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! Oh, just lacks a decent finish. Zielinski. Gulan. And it's Insignia. Mertens, good challenge, he just stood firm. That's Cristiano Ronaldo. Looking for big chance, it's one! Well, the ball's come loose. And he should have made it four. But time for no more. The whistle has gone. Juventus, comfortable winners. A virtuoso display, utterly one-sided. After all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Juventus will walk away happy from this with such a show of defensive solidity and maturity. 
That's hard to upset. So we've reached the end of our coverage for today. Many thanks to Jim Beglin alongside me, and we'll both see you next time.